In this video, we will be covering the basics of how to film a video. Videography is a very complicated field, and you can find entire tutorial series online that teach the technicalities of producing a video. But in this video, we will instead focus on things to consider while filming a cardistry video in particular. Videos are a huge part of cardistry as a culture. Some would even argue that cardistry and videos are inseparable, as cardists have been sharing each other's material with videos since the very early days of cardistry. As explained in our last tutorial, filming a video is one of the main ways you can get recognized in the community. So with that said, let's go over what you need to film a video. The most important thing you should have before filming a video is moves. If you want your video to have a lasting impact on the community, original moves would be preferable. The next thing you need is something to record video. This could be a DSLR, camcorder, or even just your smartphone. While we understand that circumstances don't always allow, a HD camera would be preferable as you want people to clearly see each of your moves. The next thing you need is a editing software to edit your video. If you are just looking to make a casual video, then you don't need anything serious. All you need is a software that has a timeline and that allows you to cut and trim your clips and add an audio track. However, if you are looking to create a serious video, we would recommend professional software such as Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas for Windows and Final Cut Pro for OS X. This way you have access to more features to fine tune your video. The last thing you need is internet to upload your video to a video streaming platform. In the cardistry community, this would generally be YouTube. So those are all the things you need to film and publish a video. But before actually filming, there are still lots of choices to make and things to plan out. So the first thing to decide is the general theme or vibe of the video. We put this one first as this decision will influence all the remaining ones. There are a ton of directions a video can go. It can be very intense, a bit more laid back, you can have a storyline. It might not even have to be heavily focused on moves. This will guide the rest of your choices that you make and will make your video feel a lot more cohesive. The next thing to consider is what track to edit to. Once you have a general idea of the theme and or vibe you're going for with your video, deciding a track should be relatively straightforward. Some people choose the track after filming, but from personal experience, I would suggest choosing the track beforehand. This way you have a better idea of what vibes to go for when you are filming. Choosing the track and listening to it at least a couple times before filming will also make it easier to synchronize moves to the rhythm or beat of the music. Finally, there's where to film, what to wear, and what deck to use. We put these three things together because your frame throughout the video will almost always consist of all three of these things. So, you want to make sure that the three of them go well together. If you were to shoot against a black wall wearing a black shirt using a black deck, then you and your moves will be very hard to see and to differentiate. So, generally you want to find a clean background and you want to wear something that will differentiate yourself from the background, unless of course you intentionally don't want to be seen in the video. And finally, you want to choose a deck that can be easily differentiated from your clothes and the background. Of course, the order in which you choose these three things could be different. But the important thing here is to make sure that they are differentiable but work together to enhance the vibe that you're trying to create. So once you have all these things figured out, you're ready to go out and shoot your video. If you need inspiration for your video, you can check out our classic cardistry videos tutorial where we went through some of the best videos ever produced by the community. Finally, if you have seen a lot of videos with high production value, we want to emphasize that you should not be discouraged by those videos. It takes a lot of time and experience to create videos with high production value. Almost every cardist has made a ton of really crappy videos before they can actually make a good one. So, if you have the material, we highly encourage you to try and film a video. DO IT! Even if you don't end up making it public, it will serve as good practice. And with enough practice, you'll eventually be able to create a great video of your own.